UN Ketterman is enjoying his second win in about a month's time, this time with more than $30,000. This follows early July when he won $18,000, both Lucky Strikes and Maryland's Lottery. The 43-year-old power line technician regularly drives to Maryland for work with a routine that includes buying a lottery ticket. Ketterman says he couldn't believe he won the first time, so to get lucky again, he was stunned. He plans to put the money away for a rainy day. Crazy stuff there. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson is planning to stop selling talc-based baby powder around the world in 2023. The company says it will update its formula, so the powder is made with cornstarch instead. Now, Johnson & Johnson has maintained its product is safe, but it has also been at the center of lawsuits for years now. Thousands of women who got ovarian cancer after using the regular talcum powder have sued the company. Johnson & Johnson's talc-based baby powder hasn't been sold in the U.S. or Canada since 2020. And workers at Trader Joe's location in Minneapolis have voted to unionize the store. It becomes the second in the company's supermarket chain of 500 to do so. Following a lead of Massachusetts store last month, the National Labor Relations Board says the Friday vote was 55 to 5 to unionize the Minneapolis store. Workers will join Trader Joe's United, the same independent union chosen by the Massachusetts employee. A Trader Joe company statement expressed concern about what it calls a new rigid legal relationship. The company says it will now begin discussions with union representatives on a collective bargaining contract. Some workers are unhappy about benefits and pay. And switching over to our entertainment segment for today, actress he Anne Heishi has died after being taken off life support on Sunday. Annie suffered a traumatic brain injury when she drove her car into a Los Angeles home over a week ago. The crash uh, caused a fire that took firefighters over an hour to extinguish. She also has sustained burns and severe brain injury caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain. She was left on life support in, cause of her organ, in case of her organs were donated. The actress is best known for her roles in films such as Volcano and the remake of Psycho. Annie was only 53 years old. And recently, the fictionalized show Winning Time and the docuseries They Call Me Magic have tried to tell a part of the Los Angeles Lakers story. Now a new series premiering today dives even deeper into one of the most successful franchises in sports history. David Daniel has a look. To wear purple and gold, it's a different feeling. The 10 episodes of Legacy, the true story of the L.A. Lakers, stretch from the beginning of the Showtime era. What Jerry Buss did in his first year owning the Lakers is incredible. The Lakers are the world champions. You're a rookie, I'm a rookie, and we won the NBA championship. Through more than 40 years of titles, turmoil. There's a family feud brewing over who will run the Los 